Hi, and welcome to the Apogee Element series video tutorials. In this video, we'll get you started with Apogee Element Control, the Mac application for configuring your Element Series audio interface and making settings. When you first restart your Mac after installing Element Control, you'll see the System Audio Device dialog. Click Yes to use your Element interface for all Mac audio, including iTunes, GarageBand, Safari, and others. When you first launch the Element Control app, you'll see the Snapshot Template window. If you don't see the window, choose File Open Snapshot Template from the Mac menu bar. The Snapshot Template window is the jumping off point to set up Element Control for a wide variety of workflows. For this video, we'll select the Getting Started template, which provides a simple layout and a simple audio signal path. Once the template is open, you'll see Element Control's three most important windows the Hover Help window, the Essentials window, and the Primary window. The Hover Help window is a great way to familiarize yourself with Element Control. As you hover your Mac pointer above a control, you'll see a brief description in the Hover Help window. The Essentials window duplicates the analog input and output settings found in the Primary window, but in a more compact layout that can be oriented either vertically or horizontally and arranged for convenient access with your Audio Software window. The primary window offers the complete set of element control features, including system and device settings, multiple low latency mixers, analog input settings, input metering, and output metering and monitoring. As you explore element control, you'll find several ways to customize the window with just the settings you want to see. Now let's take a look at the audio signal path. The first setting to consider is the main and headphones source selections. These settings determine whether audio for elements main and headphone outputs come directly from audio software playback or from one of Element Control's low latency mixers. In this template, source is set to playback 1, 2, meaning that audio comes directly from your audio software. If you clicked Yes to set Element as your system audio device, you're now set up for playback from iTunes and Safari. When you play a track, you'll see signal on Element Control's output meters and hear audio at the main and headphone outputs. Use the Mac keyboard arrows to select an output and set levels. To configure your Element interface with your DAW, set up direct monitoring through Ensemble Control's low latency mixers and learn other useful details, check out the additional Element Series video tutorials.